Hey you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I get those really bouncy curls that last all day as well as a trick to make your hair look longer. The hot rollers I'm using today are by Babyless Pro and you can get them at flatironexperts.com. Okay, so we're almost ready to start but before we get started you're going to need a rat tail comb to separate your hair, hair clips, a hairbrush, a curling iron, mine is by Babyless and I believe it's two inches, something to protect your hair from the heat, and you're going to need a hair serum. Okay, so you're going to divide your hair in half, and then you're going to section off the top half into three. So this is pretty much what you'll end up with, it just makes the whole process a whole lot easier. Make sure you brush your hair before you start putting in your hot rollers and that you add your heat protectant. It's very important. Now when you remove your hot roller from its holder, it'll be hot, but it won't hurt your fingers. Just don't touch the actual inside of the tube. Also notice how I'm rolling my hot roller away from my face as I'm rolling it back. I'm not rolling it forward because I want my hair to be out of my face. I want that really nice curl where it's just, it looks like I have the wind in my hair kind of thing. So you want to make sure that you're rolling it back. And I'm using the smaller roller on the area of my hair that's a lot thinner. Um, it comes with I think like four different sizes so it's pretty good. So now that I have one side done, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, which is pretty much the same thing, again, rolling away from the face and just securing that right there. So now I'm spraying my heat protectant on the bottom half of my hair, which we put away, and we did this for a reason. Now the reason why I curl this last is because um, I don't want all of my hair to be in tight, tight little curls because I do have hair that's all one length, so it'll just look like tight little curls. So what I do is I curl, well I put the rollers on the top half of my head, and then I go ahead and I curl the bottom half because then when I take my actual hair curlers out, my hair will appear to be longer because the bottom part won't be as curly as the top, but you can't even tell that I did two different things, do you know what I mean? So now I'm just using my fingers to comb through my hair and a hair serum to add some shine back into it. I really just concentrate on the ends and then near the middle of my hair but I don't really put any serum on my roots because I don't want my hair to look greasy. Now this is totally optional, you don't have to do this but I felt like my bangs looked a little bit crazy and needed to be fixed so I went in with my babyless hair curler and just curled them back again away from my face. And we are done with my hair tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.